It has buckled under the oppressive summer heat. And this time, that buckle turned into a sinkhole and swallowed up a car. Fox News' John Pertzborn live at Shoots and Borman Roads in Maryland Heights with more on this growing problem. Hello, John. Good morning, guys. Well, not a good morning for Barbara Layton. She was in her Toyota van cruising down Shoots to just past Lackland. And uh, all of a sudden, a policeman directed her in this area where you're seeing that big truck. There was so much water on Shoots Road, they didn't realize that there was a giant sinkhole right there. And, you know, she's got such a good story. We're going to let Barbara Layton finish it from here. Here's what she had to say. I was driving south on Chutes, and uh, I could see that there was water to the right side of the road. And um, the policeman indicated I should drive to the right, and apparently I didn't drive far enough to the right. And it, um, my car fell nose first into uh, a fairly large sinkhole. Yeah, the tow truck came, pulled her van out, a lot of front end damage. She walked down to what was her destination down the street by that subway to meet some friends. I'm sure she's got some stories to tell. Joining me right now, this is Ann Detmer. Ann is with Missouri American Water, and it's a water main break, and this is happening all over the place today. Yeah, we have 4,200 miles of water main in our system here in St. Louis County. That's enough water main to put it end to end. It would go from New York to Los Angeles Ooh. and back to St. Louis. So a lot of water mains that we're responsible for maintaining. And uh, when we get a big increase in demand like we have in the last few days, we went from kind of hot and rainy to hot and dry. Uh, sometimes we're going to have more water main breaks, and it's our job to make sure our customers stay in water. Right up the street, they were telling me on Lackland, you've got a 36-inch main, which is really big, and that feeds into this 8-inch main, which is smaller, and that pressure just builds up, and that caused the break. And they said there had been a break. It looks like there was a patch there from years ago. So this basic, uh, this, this area uh, between uh, Villa Dorado and Lackland on Chutes is going to be closed all day, I guess. Yeah, we'll probably have it closed down all day. It should only take us about five to six hours to fix the main, but then, we, of course, we have to have their street repaired. Yeah, and then from there you go on to the next one. In fact, one of the guys just responded. They were telling me that they have nine to ten breaks right now. And what time is it? It's a little after 11 o'clock, so hold on. It's just getting hotter today, guys. Reporting live from Maryland Heights, John Pertzborn, Fox 2 News. Let's go back to you. All right, thank you, John. Well, the scorching